Ready to keep LPS corals and want them to thrive? Mastering water testing and dosing is the key. Stable water parameters are essential for coral health and growth. Today, we'll break down how to test, dose, and maintain the crucial elements your reef needs to flourish. I'm Jess, and this is Year of the Reef, episode 16. Coral, especially LPS and SPS, rely on specific elements to build their skeletal structures and grow. If you're not monitoring your water and replenishing what your corals consume, you may encounter slow growth, loss of color, or even coral death. The three core elements that need to be maintained are calcium, alkalinity, and magnesium. Calcium is the foundation of coral skeletons. Alkalinity plays a crucial role in pH stability and skeletal growth. And magnesium helps balance calcium and alkalinity to prevent precipitation. By keeping these levels stable, you create a thriving environment for your LPS corals. While these three elements are fundamental, other trace elements also play a role, such as strontium and potassium, but they are typically replenished through the regular water changes. Each of these three major elements plays a critical role in maintaining a successful reef aquarium. Calcium is essential for the skeletal growth of LPS and SPS corals, as well as invertebrates like snails and coralline algae. Without sufficient calcium levels, growth will slow and overall health may decline. Many reef aquarists overlook just how quickly calcium can deplete, especially in a well-stocked aquarium with actively growing corals. Waterbox Aquarium's calcium supplement provides a pure and concentrated solution to help maintain calcium levels between 420 and 460 parts per million, ensuring that your corals receive what they need for strong skeletal development. If your calcium levels drop below 400 parts per million, corals may struggle to build their skeletons, and you could start to see signs like reduced polyp extensions or slow growth. On the other hand, excessively high calcium levels can cause unwanted precipitation, leading to cloudy water and inefficient calcium utilization by your corals. Alkalinity has two primary functions in a reef aquarium, maintaining stable pH levels and combining with calcium to support coral skeleton formation. Alkalinity acts as a buffer, preventing rapid fluctuations in pH that can stress or damage corals. It's crucial to maintain stable alkalinity as frequent changes can negatively impact coral health. A stable pH ensures that coral metabolism functions optimally, leading to improved growth and coloration. Waterbox Aquarium's alkalinity supplement is designed to maintain stable carbonate hardness, keeping levels between 7.5 and 9.5 dKH. More than just keeping alkalinity within range, it's also important to ensure it remains consistent day to day. A smaller daily dosing approach works best rather than large and frequent doses, which can lead to spikes and fluctuations that corals struggle to adapt to. Magnesium is often overlooked, but it plays a vital role in balancing calcium and alkalinity. Without proper magnesium levels, it becomes difficult to maintain stable calcium and alkalinity levels, as they will precipitate out of the water and become unusable to corals. Magnesium essentially acts as a stabilizer, allowing for higher levels of both alkalinity and calcium without causing precipitation. If your magnesium levels drop below 1200 parts per million, you may notice that it becomes harder to keep calcium and alkalinity in balance, leading to erratic test results. Waterbox Aquarium's magnesium supplement ensures that magnesium stays within the optimal range of 1200 to 1400 parts per million, keeping your reef chemistry in perfect balance. Now that we know why these elements are so important, how do you know how much to dose? The first step in this process is investing in high quality test kits. Accuracy is key when monitoring your reef's chemistry and unreliable test kits can lead to incorrect dosing, ultimately causing fluctuations that stress corals. Using high and reliable test kits ensures that your dosing regimen is based on accurate data, allowing for precise adjustments. It is also important to use a salt mix that aligns with your target water parameters. Your salt mix should have calcium, alkalinity, and magnesium levels close to your desired range, making it easier to maintain stability over time. Waterbox Aquarium's Reef Salt is a premium, ultra-clean synthetic reef salt formulated specifically for reef aquariums, providing balanced levels of calcium, alkalinity, and magnesium to support coral growth and meets most reef aquariums' target levels. This mix ensures consistency from batch to batch, making an excellent choice to maintain a stable reef system. Stability is the key to long-term success in reef keeping, and starting with a high-quality salt mix gives you a solid foundation. Before adding any supplements, it's important to establish a baseline. Test your water and record the levels of calcium, alkalinity, and magnesium. Then, wait two or three days without dosing and test again. The difference between your first and second set of results will show you how much your corals are consuming each day. This step is crucial because blindly adding supplements without understanding your reef's consumption can lead to dangerous swings in parameters, which corals struggle to adapt to. 
When using Waterbox Aquarium's core elements, the online dosing calculator makes it simple to calculate the exact amount of supplementation needed to replenish those elements. Just enter your test results, desired levels, and aquarium volume, and the calculator will provide precise dosing recommendations. By following these recommendations, you can ensure that your reef maintains optimal levels without overdosing or underdosing. Now it's time to start dosing. For the next two to three days, dose the calculated daily amount and test your water again. The goal is to see minimal fluctuation. If your levels have dropped, you may need to increase your dosage slightly. And if they have risen, reduce it. Continue testing every two to three days for the first two weeks to ensure consistency. As your corals grow and you add new ones, their demand for calcium, alkalinity, and magnesium will increase, so regular testing and adjustments are necessary. Once stability is achieved, you can transition to testing weekly or bi-weekly. This ongoing maintenance ensures your reef stays healthy and prevents unexpected parameter swings that could harm your corals. With Waterbox Aquarium's high quality reef products and easy to use dosing calculator, maintaining a thriving reef has never been simpler. Testing and dosing may seem complicated at first, but once you establish a routine, it becomes an easy and essential part of reef keeping. A stable reef is a successful reef, and with the right approach, you'll be well on your way to growing a vibrant, healthy corals in your aquarium. Investing time in understanding your reef's chemistry and staying consistent with testing and dosing will set you up for long-term success and a stunning, thriving aquarium. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll never miss a video.